Welcome back to the Tidarium Hangar. This is Mike, and today I'm going to talk to you about the HasLab Razor Crest and why backers are backing out. What has to do with what just happened in the most recent episode. A lot of people on either side of the fence on this issue. If you have not seen the episode, don't watch past this intro because there's going to be a lot of spoilers. But I'm going to give you my take on it, and I'm going to give you uh, some opinions from around the internet also give you some ideas and a little bit of future speculation in the show based on all of this. A little bit of fun coming up. And I warned you there's going to be some spoilers so if if you have not seen this episode I'm already spoiling some stuff then don't watch past go watch the episode then come back and watch this or just get spoiled who really cares right? But what happens is the Razor Crest gets blown up, and it's caused a lot of controversy. A lot of people are really upset, especially the people that backed it, especially the people that backed it with multiples. And the people that backed it with multiples obviously plan to sell an extra one or two or three or four or whatever. Now, I bought three. One to open, one to keep sealed, and one to sell or trade or whatever down the road, and that's just kind of how I'm operating on this. Now, here's why I didn't go all in like I did with the sell barge. So before I get into all of these reasons people are upset about this, I do want to point out that I originally said this should have just been a mainline release, and it's not a mainline release, it's only a HasLab project. So that was kind of strange, it wasn't a retail mainline release. The, the other thing is, I felt they should have done a sand crawler, number one, before they made the Razor Crest. And the sand crawler, I think, was more iconic and all of that. I also said they should have made the Tantive 4, not the Razor Crest. So that's why I only ordered three of the Razor Crest. I would have ordered five if they would have made one of these ships. So why are people upset that blowing up the Razor Crest is a big deal? The reason it's a big deal and the reason it's upsetting people is because most people didn't go in on the Razor Crest because of the fact that it was an iconic ship like the Sail Barge. Most people, such as myself, went on the ship so you could have the ship along for the ride for the next three seasons. Now, by the time you get it, there's only a season and a half left or something along those lines. But still, it's a ship that you're going to have for the ride. You're going to be along for the ride. And, and a lot of people say, well, they blew up everything else that's has They blew up the cell barge, and I guess the Sentinel blew up, and, and of course, uh, we ended up sort of blowing up Unicron. So, blowing up this. Let's blow up every single ship that's made. I mean... That's kind of an interesting way to go about it, but I want to point out something else. The HasLab cell barge was blown up 37 years ago. So when we backed the barge, we already knew it was blown up 37 years ago. And we already had a lot of nostalgia for it, and there's a lot of reasons people wanted it. But the status of it in the lore didn't switch or change at all. So that's I gotta tell you, it's not the same thing. It's apples and oranges when you're comparing a blown up, 37 year old blown up cell barge to, to blowing up something that you're, you're not even connected to iconically yet. You're just sort of starting to warm up to this brand new ship they just introduced to us a year and a year, a year and a couple months ago. So let's get into a little fan theory on what if he gets another ship. So, so let's say you total your Honda Civic. Let's say you have a Honda Civic, you total it. Is, that, is this a Honda Civic? I hope it is. So anyway, you total your Honda Civic. What's the chances you're going to be able to go out and buy another Honda Civic? The chances are very high. You can go get another, that year model, even the same color, exactly the way it was. It's pretty simple. And in the Star Wars lore, it's the same thing. See, he can eventually end up with another Razor Crest. And it, I think there's a part in there where they say something about it surprised it wasn't impounded or something like that as if this particular model of ship has been impounded maybe there is an imperial shipyard somewhere that just has 15 or 100 of these things or whatever and he can just pick from them and steal one or something maybe he gets into another one down the road and there's more to this maybe hasbro hasn't moved enough slave ones so hey let's move these slave ones and uh blow up the razor crest but here's the thing, I bet you anything, our Mandalorian friend Dejarin gets into the Slave One because he's going to be having to travel with Boba Fett. And he's depending now on Boba Fett for transportation in the Slave One to get where he needs to go. And obviously they're going to go try to get 
the baby Yoda back. And I bet you somewhere in there, the Mandalorian flies the Slave One and doesn't like the Slave One. And then maybe he even gets himself another ship uh, an episode or two down the road. Or maybe not even by the end of the season, he doesn't get another ship. But maybe he gets a ship in the next season, doesn't like it, finds another Razor Crest. There's all these endless possibilities, all of these theories floating around. But uh, I'm guessing something has to do with Slave One reissue not selling as well as Hasbro thought it would. Of course, we've got the next playset coming. Uh, this is a mock-up. I don't know who made it, but did a fantastic job of this mock-up. But uh, the the Razor Crest playset <laughs> uh, looks really good. You can have a nice big hole where it was blown up and and have this playset. But still, uh, I, I doubt they'd actually put this playset out. But you know, it could double as maybe a part of a Sarlacc pit. Maybe you put a Sarlacc in the middle there. See, and maybe Hasbro was showing us all the time, this whole time that they were going to blow up the Razor Crest. See, you know how it comes apart and they keep showing us this picture where it's all kind of floating in the air. Uh, you could suspend every one of these little parts and make it look like it just blew up. See, that's another display option for your HasLab Razor Crest. Display it with all the parts dangling in the air like it just blew up. And that'd be, you know, really lifelike. Now, of course, people that are wanting to back out, you can back out up till the 10th. So you got two more days to back out, to cancel your order, get your money back, and you don't have a crest. So if it really bothers you, back out. Cash out. Cash out. The people hate me at the casino. I'm always, if you win, cash out. Let's go. Cash out. Let's go. Uh, no, no. Anyway, the thing about this is that the add-ons, the exclusives, could add up to being well worth still having your Razor Crest. I mean, if, if, you, if you now are sour on the ship, because you don't really have any connection to it, it's blown up, you'll never see it again, then these extra add-ons make it worth sticking with it. For me, I'm not selling any of my three, or canceling or whatever. I'm keeping my three. But I think it's really cool they're going to back-metalize this thing. And uh, very little gets back-metalized in the mainline these days. So with the add-ons, the escape pod. Now, I don't ever remember them using the escape pod, and a lot of people have brought this up. He never really used the escape pod. So... Why would they go through such a big deal about this escape pod if it's not going to be used in the season? There's something about the escape pod. So if it's never been used, maybe he gets a new one. Is maybe this gun of his, this disintegrator gun of his, uh, I forgot the name of it actually, I just saw the name of it. Anyway, did it make it? Did it survive? Or was it on the Razor Crest and did it get blown up also? Which is kind of a question mark but whether it got blown up or whether he still has it hasbro just announced this for mando monday that they're making this nerf gun of this iconic gun and they're gonna charge 120 bucks now i kind of think it's like a 40 dollar gun like i'd give 40 for it but uh they're charging 120 for it now i guess i need to look into all of the different features and why it's worth 120 dollars it's still really cool but did this get blown up and then they come out and sell a premium version of it that might be kind of Hasbro's new way of doing business. And next I want to talk about all of the people that are canceling. Now, I can't remember the exact backer number, and I just know that the number's just been dropping since I've been checking since Friday, and it's just been dropping. So if it was over 29,000, which I just can't remember, for some reason I, 29 stuck with me, but we're down to 28,253 as I'm making this, who knows by in the morning or when I post this, is this thing going to be down to like 27 something? But it'll be interesting to know by December 10th, which is the cutoff for this, because it was November 9th is when we actually funded the project. And so you have 30 days from the date of funding, or actually I guess the date of payment, which was the 10th, to cancel your order. So you have till the 10th to cancel the order. So if you still want to cancel yours, you can. Again, I'm not going to cancel mine or any of my three. I'm going to stick with it because, of course, all of the extras, all the throw-in, and it's sort of a cool ship, and I think it's going to see a return, and even if it doesn't, I'm still okay with it. It's not a big deal to me. I didn't order 5, I didn't order 20, I didn't go crazy with it, but I still think it's a cool ship, and it makes me start to wonder, so we've got one last talking point. There's been a rumor that they're going to reissue the Cell Barge, and Hasbro execs were asked point blank, Will you reissue the cell barge 
big question. They said, absolutely not. You didn't get it during the funding, then you're not going to get, a, we're not reissuing it ever. Of course, again, legally they can, and it's in the small fine print, but I do want to point out that, that that's what their verbiage is on this. Then, not even a whole minute later, they were asked, okay, down the road, are we going to see the Razor Crest reissued? And they said, we have no plans to reissue it at this time. Is a completely different verbiage than we absolutely will never reissue the Cell Barge again. Different verbiage. That tells me they will reissue the Razor Crest down the road. They already made 29,000 or 28,000 Razor Crest. I bet you they make at least 30,000 of these, if not 35, because uh, for their own reasons. But they'll end up remaking this, recoloring it down the road, which is kind of sad and scary in a way. I guess kind of exciting for people who just chose not to be part of the campaign. But again, I said it should have been a mainline release, and uh, I still feel that way. So let me know what you guys think about them blowing up this Razor Crest. Are you upset about it? Uh, did it shock you? Because it was kind of shocking. Are you indifferent because, hey, I didn't order it in the first place? Or, or did you buy it and you're still indifferent? I still like the ship. And if you did back this, did you back it because you wanted it to be along with you for the ride or you wanted to have it along for the ride or did you just back it because you thought it was cool like subscribe to the hangar out